I have an iPhone 6 here with um, no charging. Put it on a Porta Pal and it, it is, uh, it gets a little bit of, like, it jumps a little bit. I'm talking about like maybe 0 0.01 volts or something like that when I plug it in. So let's find out what's going on here. Um, so what I, when there's no power and uh, you try to new charge port and battery then what I normally do the next step is you know plug it into a USB um, port and measure the voltage at Tigris so and I'm gonna show you where that is alright so let's uh, okay this is oriented the same way as the board is facing on ZFW tools here um this is Tigris. Um this is what handles the USB power when it comes in. All right. So let's let's just take a look at this real quick, okay? So this is Charger LDO. Um Let's see, so I should be getting, see there's any, okay, so I should be getting 5 volts here, uh, PPVCC main should be, I believe 3.8 volts, 4 volts right around there, so 5, 3, battery should be 3.8. So 5, 3, and 3.8, okay, and, uh, let's see, and 5 here, let's see, no, 5, 5 here, which is the same as this, so 5 volts, uh, I think it's, I think this is 3.8 volts, and then I think 3.8 volts, so boom, 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 that's where I'm going to check, alright? So, let me get my charge port. I'm going to get a known good battery, also. And so I'm going to turn this puppy over. Once I plug it in, the power should get to it, okay? So let's see. So let me just point out where I'm going to test. I am going to test this 5 volts, 3.8, and Five volts, three point eight, three point eight, right there. All right, so let's go. All right. Multimeter and DC volts, and then you just kind of this goes to ground, and so I'm getting five volts there, getting four point two there, and I'm getting. 2.7 here, which is really low. Could just be because this battery's not charged up yet. Let me try another battery.
All right. I'm pretty sure the battery's charged up, so let's go from here, right? So, same thing. Um, five, four, three point nine. Okay, so I'm getting all the correct voltages here. Okay. So the question is, why is it still not charging? Um, let's go over to the TriStar, which is covered in this garbage right here. So I should be getting three volts here to TriStar, and 1.8 on the inside of that. See, it, iTunes recognizes it. So let's see. One sec. So three volts, one one point eight. Let's check those first. One point eight. That's point five. It should be three point three. Now I'm getting three volts. Let's see what I'm getting here. Four point seven and three. Four point seven and three. So let's see. Three point three. Uh, I think I might have to pull some of this garbage off. So that's 3, 3, 1.8. Oh, second. Let's see, 1.8. I should be getting three here, I think. 1.8. Getting three. It should be 3.3, .3, I believe. Right? Nope, this is three. This is 3.3. .3. This is 1.8. Okay, so, hmm iTunes recognizes it. Let's take a look. I'm going to pause it for a second, check my iTunes, see what's going on there. So this phone, I... Um, after I put everything back together, <clears throat> it started charging fine. So I don't know what was going on with it. I think maybe I'm not really sure. Um, but after I put it through multimeter and all those tests and stuff like that, I mean, I I do remember that initially one of the voltages on one of the um, lines was not what it was supposed to be. So I don't know if it just took a little extra a charge or something. You know, the capacitor maybe took a charge or something and started working or what, or maybe the capacitor is failing or something. I'm not really sure, but uh, all I know now is that you know when I plug it into my uh, porta pal, uh, the it's taking the amps it's supposed to, and it is charging. So 
what I'm going to do is send this back to the customer. Um, I normally charge a $25 microscope inspection and uh, basic multimeter test, so I'll charge him that. And if he returns it, then I will troubleshoot it again. But for now, this phone is fixed. And um, that's it, really. There's nothing else I can do because I can't fix a problem that's not broken. Alright, thanks for watching.